guys today I'm gonna go ahead and show you the best practices for following counts how to make coins how to use them and how to use them effectively first off comment today coming in from laughing my butt off what did you do to level up so fast nothing I literally grind the same solo 6,500 times I'm serious there's no way to level up fast this year it's all about just getting the same solo done the best solo 55 XP it sucks, but that's how it works. Second thing, like all for this video, guys. Come in, smash 75 likes. And finally, how many farm accounts do you use personally? Now, first off, I have to start this off right away by saying this. You cannot get banned for farm accounts. But you can get banned if you transfer coins incorrectly. So I want to start this video off because if, any, if you get anything from this video, I want you to understand, don't do this, okay? First off. Transferring coins from a farm to a main account, you do not, big letters, do not buy a card. You do not put a card up on your main account and buy it on your farm, and that is not how you transfer coins. If you do it that way, you can get banned for coin selling. So do not do that. You cannot get banned for farm accounts, but you can get banned from doing that. So do not do that, please, for the love of God. Do not do it that way. Because if you, you can get banned for that, and that is not how you do it. The way you transfer coins is by doing two different things. First off, you want to transfer coins. What you do is you complete sets. You buy the cards in your farm account, you put up cards in your main account, and you transfer them over, and you go ahead and complete sets. You can go ahead and complete any of the sets in the game. Uh, obviously, base sets right now, we have the flashback, heavyweights, NFL veterans, offensive playbooks, oh. Not really these. You won't really want to do those. Uh, wheels of packs or wheels of training. You can do any of these sets at the moment. Now, as the season goes on, more and more promo sets will be revealed into Ultimate Team. Promo sets are a great way to use farm accounts to go ahead and complete. Again, you can use the coins if you want to to go ahead and buy the cards in your farm, transfer them over to your main, and complete the sets, and then go ahead and obviously get the card in your main account, and you can sell it. Great way. Second thing. And going ahead and transferring coin or turning coins into training points and transferring it over to your main account. So, for example, if we go ahead and take an 82 overall elite, any 82, this card is 20,000 coins, right? I can buy this card right now, transfer him over to my main account, and quick sell him and get the full training points from this card, Alvin Robinson, right? So, if I wanted to right now, I could say, okay, I'm gonna buy this Alvin Robinson, I'm gonna transfer over some training points. I need some training points to my main account. Buy this card, transfer them over to your main account, and then you go ahead and you get you can get full training points doing that. So, and then next thing is going to be how do you make sure you can transfer a card from your main account to your farm account without any issues and you don't you know lose the card. First off, you want to add your main account on your farm account. So if you're Xbox or your PSN, go ahead and add that person. So add whatever account you want to add, add that person. And then you're gonna go ahead and restart Ultimate Team. Key thing here restart ultimate team go ahead and go to the trade block and sort it to limit to users friends only now you see friends only you see i only have one of the card up where's all the other cards of everyone else because i'm only seeing my friends of cards and my friend cards are currently my main account linval joseph so that is how you transfer cards correctly and how you make sure you don't have any issues next thing Solo challenges. Solos are great on farm accounts. That's the point of farm accounts to, to do more solo challenges, to get more coins, and do that all kind of great stuff. Campaign solos are a fantastic way to go ahead and complete. What this does is it levels you up, it gets you a higher level, and the whole premise is you go ahead and get do, do these solo challenges to get to level 20 to unlock, or level 15 to unlock Team Diamonds, Go ahead and complete both of these. You get, I believe, four gold fantasy packs, which obviously are great. And then you can sell all that kind of content in that pack. And then once you get to level 20, you can go ahead and complete the last rookie gauntlet sequence, which you can go ahead and get, um, I believe it's an 85 plus overall elite player. And of course, you can pull some crazy stuff out of that, sell that player. And then again, if you want to, training points. Or you can go ahead and complete sets on your main account. So that is the way you use farm accounts at the moment. Now this all changes when stuff comes out throughout the year. If Team of the Week, preseason Team of the Week comes out tomorrow or today, oh, by the time you're watching this, yesterday, then obviously you can use this same method 
for that same concept. Just go ahead and, you know, once you go into the sets, whatever the player may be, if it's a random team and a weak player, you just go ahead and you complete the set. And from your, you get the call to your farm account, transfer them to your main, complete the set, and get the master player in your main account. And then you can sell them. You can do whatever you want. If you complete a set from cards from your farm account, the main account player you get, the master you get from completing it, is ultra one tradable if, if the set gives you ultra one tradable player. So that means it's not NAT if you transfer the cards over and then complete the set. So other than that though, again, that's the main principles on how to snipe. I'm sorry, the main principles of how to use farm accounts. Another great thing for farm accounts is honestly mult rewards. If you want to, you can sign up every one of your farm accounts for mult rewards. So when you're going ahead and completing, you know, whenever mult rewards release, you can have, instead of getting one account with mult rewards, you can have five accounts with mult rewards. So if you get, you know, three... I don't know, gold premium packs for being a part of the Mutt Rewards. Now you get 15 gold premium packs for being a part of the Mutt Rewards. Um, other than that, another great principle is if you are investing in something, right? Let's say you're really going balls to the wall and investing in a certain card. That card's going to be up 6 million coins in a day, right? And you're like, I have so much cards on my main account, but I just don't personally have the room for them. Or, you're like, I don't want to invest in this card with my main coins because what if it fluffs me over? Well, no problem. Invest with your farm coins. Because your farm account coins, obviously, are just there unless you transfer them over. They're always going to be on their set accounts. So, you can invest into those coins with those coins. Kind of risk it for the biscuit here and not have to worry about losing any coins on your main account. Therefore, if it does work out and you're sitting there with, with being a mutt millionaire, you can go ahead and then again transfer coins over by completing sets or buying cards, trading them over, and quick selling them for trading points. So it's a win win in the end. It's a very awesome method, in my opinion, to make a lot of coins in Mutt 19 is by going ahead and using farm accounts. Some people hate them, some people love farm accounts. I understand both sides of the equation. Some people say, well, it's the same concept as, you know, you're pretty much, I, some people say, you're exploiting the game because you're doing something where you're actually going ahead and grinding the game out. Well, you're, you're, you're adding more solo challenges to how many solos you can do. And that is the same, that is true, but the same principle is with, is with spending money. By spending money, I feel like you're, you're also exploiting the game because you are making it so you don't have to spend time. Like, the point of the game, if you think about it, Ultimate Team is to build the best fantasy team possible, right? And the concept of the game, if you think about it, is grinding solo challenges, getting your coins up, and then, of course, spending the coins on your team. If you buy packs, you're kind of you're kind of bypassing that whole grinding process. If you create a farm account, you're just extending the grinding process. So I have no issue with farm accounts. Some people do, some people don't. If, you're in, if you really hate them that much, don't watch my farm account videos. Uh, nonetheless, though, again, as they add more solo challenges, farm accounts will become even more and more great. But at the moment, there's not really a greatness when it comes to solo, when it comes to farm accounts. Again, if all farm account is, it's just an extra Xbox account, extra PS4 account that you sign into Ultimate Team. It's not that difficult of a process. It's a very easy process. Other than that, though, if you want to go ahead and use your uh, farm account, well, use your... Uh, if you have a main account, if you bought the Madden copy digitally, you want to activate your PS4 or make your Xbox a home Xbox. Once you go ahead and do either of those things, you will be able to use Madden 19 on every single account you have. All your farm accounts, no issue at all. Other than that, again, just wrapping this video up, just making it, I'm not trying to make it too, too long. But other than that, you know, you can open up packs on farm accounts. That is also a thing. If you or a really big pack spender and you want to go ahead and open up more than just the two bundles you get right here or the one or the eight bundle you get here or sorry the eight packs you get here you can go ahead and open this up on farm accounts and even open up more packs so i don't know how many people actually use it for that method but that is also a really great method to use and a really great uh thing if you want to go ahead and open up some more packs so other than that, though, solo challenges right now are not the greatest. There's no these. There's no crazy, ridiculous solo challenge that's going to get you this, uh, you know, crazy amount of coins and best for you know just uh, farm accounts. But campaign again, 
uh, are going to be great. And of course, it's going to be great to do Team Diamond. The first two sequences, not the third one. First two. And of course, Rookie Gauntlet. Any, actually, the whole Rookie Gauntlet is good because it gives you coins. But I recommend if you just want to do one, the last sequence. Which the last sequence is difficult as all heck. Unless guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.